believe you hope you're well. It's Sunday the 23rd of July and it's um, 8.45 and it's um, the week of vegan camp out. So I'm looking forward to that this weekend. Hopefully some of you that watch this will be going. Please introduce yourself if you haven't we haven't met already. It'd be awesome to meet you. I'm looking forward to it. To a degree, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, I'm just here to do a quick vegan food review, get through. I've got a lot build up again as usual. Let's get it done. Let's just run through it and then we'll go into a few other topics at the end. Um, I've had it so many times now. Veg gyoza. I picked it up last night, yesterday from Sainsbury's and had it for lunch. It's delicious. I love it. So I've got to give it a 9 out of 10. I don't know what I've given it before. I'm going to give it a 9 because it is really good. Um, same time, plant pie, Tesco's plant pie, no duck rolls. I had these for my dinner last night. They are great. Twice in a week. A bit calorific. But they are really good, really, really good. Um, 8.5 out of 10. Another pack there, so check that in there. So this is some stuff there because I've got a bag full of pieces. I had this crispy seaweed. To be honest with you, very greasy. I did it in the air fryer, but it's still very greasy. I'm going to give that 7 out of 10. No chicken chow mein. It had very few... The chicken piece. I might have just been one of the unlucky ones, let's be honest. I'll give it 7 out of 10. Won't be in a rush to buy it again. It's a vegan. Lots of cabbage in it. Very little fake chicken pieces, but lots of cabbage. Mm. Plant Chef, meat free, star beef pieces. They're fantastic. I love them in the air fryer. Talk about the air fryer in a minute. They are great. Um, 9 out of 10. I like the beef, I like the chicken. They're both 9 out of 10s, by the way. Plant Pioneers, vegan, bang, bang, cauliflower. These were really good. Really good. I've got another packet in the fridge. I'm going to give these 8.5 out of 10. Don't worry, Plant Pioneers. I might go crashing down right about now. I've got a meal deal from them the other day. And in the meal deal, I've got this Plant Pioneer, 7 fried, no chicken goujons. It didn't resent. There were lots of fake chicken in it, but it didn't resent. It didn't rep. It didn't. It was in no way seven fried in any way whatsoever. If you know what I mean. And um, six out of ten, I wouldn't be buying it again. I'd rather. I was desperate to get something to eat because I wanted to go training after, and that's another thing we're talking about is why I'm training. But um, six out of ten, I won't be buying that again. I did have the better naked new one called Gold Machine. It was really nice, so I'll give that eight out of ten. And then we're in the big bag. We've got loads more to go. Just in the big bag. Ah, last week the ZZ vegan rainbow lasagna. Do you know what? I cannot stand the ZZ pizza, vegan pizza. This was really pretty good. Um, eight out of ten. Strong Roots Cabin King more burgers. Nothing special at all. Six out of ten. It's a bit harsh when I say it like that, but it's just true. I picked them up, they were on offer the other week. Um, plant, fishes, fillets, birds, up. They're, they're the best ones out there. Um, pick these up when they're on offer. They're too expensive otherwise. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Oh, I'll get myself shot now. Linda McCartney, Vegamint. It's good. It's really good. Um, 9 out of 10. And it's so cheap. And it's so much more protein. They got Beyond Burgers. Try selling the Beyond Burgers I protein. That's so much more protein in it. Tesco Taco Kit. Uh, just what it says on the tin. Six out of ten. No, actually, five out of ten. Not wasting my energy on it. I wouldn't do it again. Wouldn't. Um, Green cream chicken. No chicken dippers. Really good. 9 out of 10. Something new. Tesco Plant Chef Plum Flavour Crackers. Really good. Unfortunately. Goodness. You are joking. Shall I look at it? I'm going to give them 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Cathedral City cheese slices, loved by me and Peggy both. Um, 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. It's the best vegan cheese out there. 
I believe. I know there's a few other ones. Um, and let's stop for a sec. We went to um, across the food festival today, and I don't know what they called it. It began with P, but my daughter and son-in-law had this cheese with gravy, mm. chips with gravy and cheese. They called it some. It's a summit bar, panel. I went for the vegan option. I was just there because there was no queue. And I understand why there was no queue, because I didn't enjoy it. But it wasn't there for, I should imagine, my daughter and son-in-law loved it. The vegan cheese they used was right down the scale of vegan cheese. It was not nice. It wasn't nice at all. And I was explaining to my daughter about chips and gravy. as a northern thing if I have them at the Lake District. And my, they've had them at the Lake District. I've taken them to Keswick. I've taken them to the chip shop in the square, you know. By where they start the rain, um, the John Moore run. Yeah, I think it's John Moore, isn't it? There's a famous chip shop right in the centre. With by the, we've been there. We've had, I've I've been there a hundred times, so I should know what it's called. But hey, let's go on to the next thing. I'd have chips and gravy. I wouldn't have it with the cheese ever again. I wouldn't even try it with the Cathedral City because I didn't get it. Gravy and chips for me. I'm too old school. Linda McCartney, vegetarian. They are vegan. They should sell themselves up. Look, clear. look, this is what gets me. Vegetarian, vegan. Just put vegan. Don't be too scared. They're great pies. 8.5 out of 10. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, Andy Carrow. Banana chips. 8.5 out of 10. They serve a purpose. They really do. Viva era plant steaks. They are really nice. And they've been on offer at Tesco's lately. Really, really nice. Um, nine out of ten. To my score today, never passing. To my score today. Oh, food. <coughs> Pinehead oats. Pinehead oatmeal core stabilized. Been oh, doing this as overnight oats. The happy option. My daughter got me onto this. Picked some up on Amazon. That bag was on offer last week at two twenty five. It's back up to two ninety nine nine. It's a kilo bag, and um, I've still got some left, obviously. I do it overnight oaks. I soak them with chia seeds, and I never have them for overnight. I usually have them in the evening for like dessert with loads of fruit on the sliced up banana, strawberries, frozen blueberries, fresh or frozen. Apart from banana, I like fresh banana. Um, sliced apple or grape, even grated if I can be bothered. Um, and I put a little bit of maple syrup over the top. It's banging dessert, banging dessert. Mama Massa, Chipotle and Lime. They're pretty, they're decent enough. Um, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Ha 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 ha. The Maisel Organic no Tortilla Chips Natural. I've got these from the Natural Grocery Store. 4 out of 10. They were actually the other end of the scale. They were awful. People going on about the quiche's cracked. Quiche Lorraine. Lorraine. Little bad boy. 7.5 out of 10. I'm sure you don't all agree with all my scoring. And that's right. It's an individual preference, isn't it? So that's how I do these. So. The chicken pieces, we've agreed. Nine. Tomato and herb pasta. It's vegan. I just got it. I got it for when I was going to go camping. For 3 out of 10. Did not enjoy that at all. Did not enjoy it at all. Plant Chef Fish Rig Goujons. These are new at Tesco's in the flash. They are banging. They are really, really good. They're really cheap as well. Um, 250 grams, which is... A fair bit of protein. I can't do the exact amount. Because I, even with my glasses, I can't read this time of night. Um, they're really good. I like them a lot. 8.5 out of 10. I can't give everything straight away. TikTok teas, the bedtime one. I use the um, I use a number of teas. And I just went and bought, uh, it's the only thing I bought. I bought some turmeric lattes from the food festival, three different ones. But these are good. Um, they're not the cheapest tea bags. I do like them. Um, eight out of ten. Oh, oops, my tub's getting pretty full already. Slice of cashews. Um, get these at Tesco's. 
Eight out of ten. I find a use for them. I find a use for them. I made them into pizzas. Some vegan grated cheese on, a bit of sliced tomato or anything, maybe. Really good. Vegetable it is vegan from Sainsbury's. Eight point five out of ten. It's really good. Growers Diabetes Microwave Rice. It's a staple in my house. I have it two or three times a week. You've got to give it nine out of ten for what it is. I can't tell you the name of this um, tofu. It's okay. There are better out right there, for cheaper. I'll give it eight out of ten. VFC chicken tenders. They're very good. Um, eight point five out of ten. Eight point five out of ten. Banana chips are different one. Sumer. They're expensive. Um, same school. Whatever that was. Because they're you know they. Sorry about this, it's a bit of a waffle session now, isn't it? Um, this Korean barbecue cooking sauce by Sosu. Picked it up at Tesco's. It was really, really nice. 9 out of 10. Made a difference. You can have it with tofu, you can have it with all sorts. It was great. Never cracked. Published. Cheese and broccoli. 8 out of 10. Okay, we'll put the pieces up. Nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. Peggy had the mango one. She's on a different one at the moment from this wrapper. Peggy. Got to give it 10 because Peggy loves them, especially when I put them in the freezer. She loves them. I picked this up. Deli Ugo pumpkin and sage ravioli. Can't remember where I got it from. Um, 6 out of 10. It just went to watery mush. Tesco's almost is a staple in the fridge. It's great. Um, 8 out of 10. Plant Chef Cumberland Style Bangers. 7.5 out of 10. Green Christina again. They come up when they're on offer. Future Burgers. Really good burgers. Um, 8 out of 10. Lots of ice school today. There have been that one or two. Pretty bad ones. And then, um, there we are. I am trying to get through it. Plant Chef All Day Breakfast. Meal deal, I must have had. Um, it's better than the same, but I'll give that a 7.5 out of 10. Interestingly, now, Guinness, zero. Alcohol free life, Guinness, not my visit, Guinness. Um, it's really nice, it just tastes like Guinness, to be honest with you. And um, I went wild camping on Dartmoor the other week, and everyone was taking lives. And that. I took some of these. Funny story, I took two out of the car, took them up with me, carried them around, drank one that night just to be part of the group. It's a social group that I meet up with. On a first day, we do all sorts of adventures. I've got a paddle board now, so I might do a bit of that filming at some stage. It's still in its box, though. I haven't taken it out yet. I've had it a week and a bit. week and a half, and I've not taken out the packaging yet. Long story about that. So I took the two cans with me. Funny story was, we packing up our tents the following morning, and I got a four can of this Guinness Zero Zero. I didn't want to carry it, the, t the 14 miles we had to do over it, up and down hills and with pegging all that. So I was, I cracked up in the can at something like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going, what are you doing drinking at this time? I said, it's alcohol free. It's just a taste, isn't it? It was, like, it was nice, actually. And um, just check some. It's not on there. I've, I've got t I've got two tins in the fridge still to go. So I'm not a massive drinker. But um, there's a Koppenberg one. We had, um, I had, on Thursday night, we went to uh, alcohol free. And I'll explain that in a minute. Alcohol free again. Um, go out for me meal with them on a Thursday night. And I had these Koppen Koppenberg. Um, they do a cider, strawberry and some it was, and I went for the non-alcoholic then, and they were lovely. They were really nice. I mean, nine point five out of ten out on the on the score scale, but two hundred twenty-five grams of two hundred twenty-five calories. Sorry, or two hundred fifty-five on the label. And I'm like, ooh, so I had two. That's five hundred calories. Right, go for it all. A friend of mine who's in the group is doing um, six months non-drinking. And to be honest with you, I've not really... I, the last time I'd, I had a fair bit to drink was um, March the 6th, a friend's birthday. And um, I just decided it wasn't worth it. I didn't have an hangover or anything. Personal reasons, I said, I don't want this. And since March the 6th, I, when I go out, I've had two pints of shandy. One, with the, one when I get there and one with the meal, sort of thing. That's it. Then after that, I'll go on to the Diet Coke because... Um, that's the way I've done it for the last 
six months work, five months, five months, say four or five months. And a friend said, I'm going to do six weeks. So I said, sign me up for that. I'll do six weeks. And that's why I've been on the no, no, I've got Guinness and the Coppenberg. The funny thing is, it ends the day after my birthday, which is an absolute pain in the backside because it's um, August the 21st. My birthday's August the right. Oh. Which brings me on to on August the 21st, and we go from me. Pay I have set up a just giving page, but I haven't publicized it yet. Um, on August the 21st, which is on Monday, the day after my birthday, to burn the calories of the cake that I'm going to get myself and Carol from Fars. I need to ring it, don't it? Right, let's get to the point. I'm non alcoholic drinks. Then on the August the 21st, I start my challenge for this year, and like last year's Cotswold Way. I'm starting from home each day, five days, five marathons, 26.2 miles, starting in Chartnam in the in the valley part by Spr Springbank, going up to the top of Cleveville, going across Cleveville, going down Cleveville, going up Line Overwood to the top of Lecampton, across Lecampton, going down Lecampton, going up Birdlip Hill, three quarters of the way, and then down towards the Averley, no, Sheridanton, around to Haverley, around to um, Stavon, Haverley. Staverton and then back towards Springbank and it will be a four twenty six point two miles per day. I've been training for it all year. Um I got whacked the leg that I really buggered up last year with a dog hurt it twice. Hurt it two weeks ago and I've got a lump in it. But it hasn't stopped the train. It hasn't put me in any way. I'm just saying a typical same leg, same dog. But no, so that's the challenge this year is five miles. So it works out at 131 miles between Monday and Friday. A lot of ascent, a lot of descent. Um, but the thing is, I can have a bath each day, shower, and my own bed. And that's, that's the key to all this. So let's see. Um, then on the 26th of... Um, oh dear, um, this is Zeus. He's gone very shy. He just had his flea stuff on, so he's not happy with me at all. So he's to have just had their flea chat this afternoon. So I get back. So on August the 26th, August the 26th is Barneville. Barneville? Barneville? The barn in rugby are having an open day with all proceeds going to Fars Farm and Will Rescue Sanctuary. So I'm doing the charity walk for Fars over the five days, which has only been between me and one of the fam Only Lenkin knew about this until I mentioned it on here the other month, last month and then night and um they're doing as well so hopefully we'll get the funds to get them through the winter which is an expensive time of year when the animals have to be in so let's fingers crossed let's go for it all eh so um the barnaville and they're gonna um have stores vegan it's a vegan restaurant so it's gonna be fantastic they're gonna have music access to the bar all sorts and i'm gonna i'm hoping i'm in one fit state to be able to go there because it's a it's only a 90 minute journey but but i'm about to do the five days before i've never done before so I hope I get in the state. Might even camp out overnight over there. Might have a look at Ben and talk about it. But yeah, that's the goal. I'm thinking. So Barnabas on the twenty sixth, and then I'm gonna back a couple of days, two days off, actually off for me, and then and then I'm going away at the end of the first weekend of September to another little festival with Pe and Peggy's going with me to um, vegan camp out. I've decided um, she's going with me. That's it, you know. The dogs can go. I'd rather miss out on the big talks, the big shows, just experience the atmosphere and take Peggy. That's more important to me than um, being in the stage. It'd be nice to dance away a bit. I can't dance, but it'd be nice to meet like minded, like minded people and have a dance and jig, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, but I'd rather miss it than not take Pegs. So if you've been before, let me know your views. I know Family Four Explorer, Family Four Explorer mentioned. Yeah, take Peggy. Um, Hopefully I'll see um, those vegan guys there. Paul and Jason are there, so hopefully I'll catch up with them a bit. Because last time I saw them was at the Fars. And um, the vegan queens are doing a show, which I won't be able to see. Well, I might be, I don't know. And then um, I know I'm going to sing the song as well. So try to take to them. They're doing well. Yeah, so we're going to then, the Barnaville, Barnville's coming across. And what, there's something else. When you start one of these things and things go through, you're right. So, and you go, oh, slow down. I'll bring that up in a minute. Um, yeah. Um, hopefully there are no issues with the vegan cat. I've got my ticket. I've got my e-ticket. I've got my QR code and all that. 
but friends haven't received theirs yet and they paid months and months and months ago and I've read lots of hundreds of people so come on get your act together but I, I couldn't imagine arranging something for 10,000 plus people so it's going to be an experience I'm looking forward to it I don't care about the weather part of my training for the try um all this um these five marathons in five days which are extreme marathons at that I'm going to um I've been to Penny Pan twice with Peggy this year. We went there for a week the last time. We went in February. We went two weeks ago and camped out overnight. And um, we're going in between vegan camp out and the next, the challenge on the 20th. I'm going to um, Brecon for a weekend with Peggy. Wild camping and I can again. So I'm doing these things with weights. Because I'll carry a little bit of weight when I do them. I'll have to carry fluids and um, a few snacks to get me through the day. Um, give me your thoughts. On anything, you know, um, yeah, that's it. I'm trying to, there's something else. And I know the minute I say goodbye and switch this off, I'll remember it. Yeah, um, Peggy's not been brilliant the last few weeks, but she's old, you know. She'll be 19 in August, if you, you know. 19th on the 19th of August. I keep doing this a lot at the moment. It's one of those, um, yeah, my phone's just gone off. Uh, uh customer so I'll read that well I can't do it that way I'll have to read the message on the phone the phone's on charge so I'll read it in a minute um that's what that team was Zeus is still there he's obviously sulking doesn't want to be part of this tonight um there was something else Barnaville's Barnaville's coming up the walk vegan camp out I'm trying to think oh and sorry for all the delayed responses I uh, think I've responded to everyone now if I haven't please Please don't take it personal. Forgive me. I sat down last night for an hour while watching those vegan guys and I was doing it because messaging. And I try to keep them genuine. They are all genuine and honest. And I try to, you know, give a little bit of personal back because um, you take the time to message and I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I really do, you know. So that's it. I nearly made this a live one and I thought, nah, don't do that. Ta let me. That's something you can do. You've got this far. You've gone into 22 minutes of me waffling. How do you feel about the live ones? I did a few. I did the last one at the end of uh, May. And something went wrong on one of the live things. And I just gave up kind of thing on it. But And I know there's things like... I, I've always been conscious of those vegan guys. And I just thought, well, I can do it like a once a week, but not on their toes sort of thing. I, I, out of pure respect, I enjoy watching them. And... They've got it down to a tea and it their mukbangs and all that. You're never going to see me eating because um, cup of tea's the most you get from me. Cheers. Because it's just me, and they can they're a great team and they can talk to each other, you know. And it's just me. Um, yeah, please feel free to leave me comments on absolutely anything. Um, uh, sorry, a second. Notifications come up on there. Yeah. Technology in me, eh? Yeah, if you want me to do, how do you feel about me doing some cooking? Actually doing like my cooking, I I can I should take the time out to do it, especially around the corner of the autumn and then at the autumn and winter. And there's I could do a video a week, say like a dish cooking over it. I can do that kind of thing. How uh, do you want it? Do you want me to go through? Do you want me to, should I do a meal prep? Should I do? Are there things I should do or shouldn't do? Please, I really do value you people that watch this now. I've subscribed. You're the ones this is for, as well as me. You know, you give me your your thoughts. I do the weekly food shop, which is technically Tesco's weekly food shop. But like, is it with the odd vegan, uh, with the odd vegetable? Pass? It's like I've got a small veg box, but it's coming tomorrow, and I don't know. What, I don't even know what I've got in it. I just know I've got some cherries, I believe. I hope a lot of this today, isn't it? You know, um, it's a new week coming. Last week was pretty miserable, so I'm hoping this week's a great week coming. Um. Yeah, um, your views, your thoughts. Um, how do you feel about the lives? Doing the live ones. For interaction, we could set some boundaries and stick to them. I mean, from the... Get through August, because August is a manic month. And I will do videos, and I will do my weekly food shops. I will do my foods, as and when I can. And a few extra little bits, like we can camp out, hopefully get a special on that. I'll do what I can, but there are going to be five days in August where I'm going to be absolutely shattered. I'm going to be eating whatever I want. It will be vegan, of course, but it will be whatever I want, drinking whatever I want. Non-alcohol. Technically, I can drink alcohol, but I ain't going to. 
you know. Your views and opinions really do matter to me, and I really do appreciate them. So anything, and um, shocking, Leslie from Canada. I'm going to give you a shout out because I'm sure you'll get this far. I can't believe that maple syrup is more expensive in Canada than it is here. Now we do have these ones which are crap, and they have um, they're just maple syrup flavored. And I picked one up, and I didn't realize the one before I was using. I recycled the tub last week. I thought it was all that. And that's that. But this one is maple syrup. And I was moaning at 6 95 for a jar bottle. But yeah, I can't believe it. That I live in Canada and you make you pay more for maple syrup than we do. It's wrong. I mean, not about air miles or shipping. I don't care how they trip it, transport it. I do care. I do care a lot about the environment. But, you know, um, we can't have any, can we? So, rightly so. I'm just saying, um, I find it mind-boggling that maple syrup is more expensive in Canada Canadian maple syrup you know more expensive blew my mind when you told me that um, Jane I'm sorry I've got Carol's name mixed up wrong every week you're absolutely right I was just having one of those moments of like, and I know you're forgiving and all that um, you know and that's something else what do you think about a few more doggy videos you know but longer I'm actually thinking about putting a GoPro on Digby's collar because he's such a big boy he just Film it and see if there's anything that comes out that's worth, worth watching because I'm intrigued to see what that boy sees because he's a humongous boy and I have his sister now and again and the two of them together are delight. So, your views really matter. Um, I really do appreciate everyone that watches these videos and um, I'm waffling on for a few more minutes to get set to 30 because this would go out and then hopefully my watch hours will get closer, 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 so close. It's a they give me the option to um earn money by getting maybe I don't want to do any of that you know I'll open them up and if people want to do that kind of thing that's fine but as I've said the first six months from day one of it being monetized six the six months I pay it hopefully it's enough will go in to get a payment at least once because I know it's, they don't do it to 200 pounds for FARS you know and that money will go to FARS and dedicate and so I need to get there and I'm um, I'm now the proud sponsor. Just a second. I'm going to go and get something. So please, please, I'm going to be like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'll keep waffling while I've gone so you can see. Oh, yeah, that's the count. We've got 1,168 subscribers at the moment, which is fantastic. But um, it's the watch hours that I've got to get at. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I am trying. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right. I'm on my way back. I really am. I'm on my way back. Yeah, so I've got this. Let's go through. Now let's go through this. I complained that this 330 gram bottle of Tesco's finest grade A dark maple syrup with a Canadian flag on was 6.95, and then Leslie goes, "It's more expensive here." Ow! I don't get it. But this is the thing. As you know, I sponsored Marshmallow... Ah, get it out. I sponsored Marshmallow and Oats. Not only did I do that, um, I dedicated the Cotswood Way walk to them. I'm just getting something else to show you last year. If you can't see this, so let's get this bad boy up. And I was generously donated this bad boy, which is going to go up on the wall. That's Marshmallow and Oats. Part of the farce family. And unfortunately now, they've both passed. Um, in a short period apart, and it's it's a shame, but they one of the reasons I they I love the fact they were together. But it was a I I sponsored I got my daughter that was my father's day present last year, and there was just something about them, so I sponsored them, and um, I haven't got it yet. Mm. Oh no 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 no. So what I did is um we had a fundraising at um Ah Zeus just decided to say hello. We did a fundraising and I've got to get this right. Got it. So we did a fundraise sorry about this. This is a cat that is not very impressed with me at the moment, and I'm gonna let this rogue. Hello, buggy boy. He's really angry with me. Just had his flea drops. And yeah, he's suffering a bit. 
it, it takes one fleet and he does suffer. And it does, and um, his brother actually no, and the trouble is they're they're outdoor more than him, but he's just not himself. So I've got the flea drops and the made sure that it was due in any case this weekend. So I'm sorry about this. This is um, hey, never work with children and animals. They say, yeah, he's got nice he's there. Okay, right. So sorry about all that. That's very professional, isn't it? Hey, eh? you don't get this kind of thing on many channels, do you? Hey, eh? right. So sorry. Marshmallow notes, Father's Day present. I needed to go down the route of um. I was talking to Lenka, one of the and uh, and Emily, and I said um. I've got to do something else. I haven't got the t you know the part Marshmallow notes T-shirt when I start to the way. If you watch this, I need the um. T-shirt for the walk I'm doing. So now I sponsor Rodney. So Rodney's the boy. As they say, all lives are precious. Rodney's me boy, and um, of course I love this one. It's a picture of Carol. So Rodney's now the boy that I sponsor, and you know, it's talking to my daughter about it. And uh, ah, that's see me waffling on. I thought of something really interesting now. So bear with me. Um, I've got a message come up and I just, I like the message. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and my a message has just come up and it was really funny from a friend, so I've been winding up. Right. I've lost the train of My daughter last week, we were somewhere, where were we? Where were we? We, we went to Boston Tea Party to meet up with, to see my nephew for the second time. He's over one and uh, my brother-in-law doesn't even live away but you know they're getting on with their own lives and that so i got to meet luca for the second time he's a lovely little boy and we were there and they had um their food my daughter's not vegan my son-in-law's not vegan they're not even vegetarian. um luca's mum was vegan i think she, i think amy's um vegetarian and i live my life and i'm not going to and we're there and my daughter's to ask me my opinion on lab grown meat now this is this goes in. She said, so what do you think about lab grown meat? Would you eat it? I went, no, I wouldn't. I said, I've got no opinion, but I wouldn't eat it. So then, um, so I just got to put that bit of OCD coming in. I dropped two boxes in a packet and I've got to pick them up because it's doing my head in. Ooh. She said, what's your opinion on lab grown? I said, no, I wouldn't eat it. No, I wouldn't. And I kind of, I, I, I don't like people who dismiss it. I said, I've not read up on it. I've not looked into it. I don't think I would. And I left it there. And she said, I said, why would you? And she said, yeah, I would. And then I was watching a YouTube vegan channel about a professor in the, and he was going on about lab grown meat this morning. Basically, just confirmed my thought. And not interested. I, I am a bit fed up with myself eating too much processed. I will always eat some processed, of course. Cutting it down a bit, you know. But cutting it down and doing it. There's no right or wrong, some people can't. And um So I just turned around and said, um sorry. So I said no, but I felt and then I spoke to her again in the week. I said I said I didn't mean to shoot you down. I said, um I've not really thought about it. I mean the strange thing is you wouldn't have got me to eat a vegan beyond burger. 10 years ago, let's be honest. And now Future Burger, Beyond Burger, the one I just did, the future, yeah, the future, Beyond, this isn't, um, even their own patties, which we do, the Plant Chef ones, when we do like the f Animal Sanctuary, Open Days, I'll eat them to the cat, uh, I was gonna say, eat them to the cow's milk. You know what I mean, I will eat them. So I'm not gonna say never, but at this moment in time, it just doesn't interest me. I've got so many, Meat alternatives out there that I like, and I it winds me up when people go, they they, they always, well, what does it have to be? I say, and I'm thinking, well, a so you can have all sorts of sausages. They don't have to have meat in them, do they? And just because I like the smell or the taste of something doesn't mean if it's not morally right to eat, I'm not going to eat it. So you know, but no, lab grown. What are your thoughts? I'm really interested. No one, 
if you and God, if you got this far, please do. What are your thoughts about lab-grown meat? Because I'm interested. I mean, those need the dairy steaks. They're gorgeous. They're never. They're not lab-grown, but they're ultra-processed. There was a as an headline keeps coming up on Facebook about people are shocked with the ultra-processed vegan. A chicken nugget from McDonald's is ultra-processed. Um, that sausage and batter from the chip shop you have around the corner on a Friday night, when, if you ever did, Saturday night. That's ultra-processed. A original Scotch egg is ultra-processed. It's sausage meat encased, in bo a boiled egg in cake, shell taken off, enclosed in pork mince, which has been seasoned with... And add rusts and all sorts of things in it, and then covered in breadcrumbs, which is bread, which is ultra processed, even more so because it's got to last. And it's backpack, so you know. So much of the stuff I've just gone through in there, in this box, is ultra processed. I mean, even this sandwich, the all day breakfast one from Tesco Clay, ultra processed. But you go down any can, you know. That's the problem we've got, isn't it? And I'm trying to cut down on sugars at the moment. I'm trying to behave myself a little bit. I'm trying to lose some weight for me. Just want to get to a set goal. It's nothing extreme. Make me happy. I'm going to the gym more. I was doing lots of cardio. I have inc I am including the weights now. If that's something you want to watch sometime, I could do a video on that kind of thing. But I ain't at the moment. Let's just get through the track. I'm doing it all with the goal. The goal is this year has been since basically since last august but i really focused since january on the training and i do the miles i do walk a lot as a dog walker obviously but then i'm doing this extra sets so i'm doing extra runs just to get going up hill and down hills all day i've included weights the last month on top of the cardio you know just trying to lose a little bit of weight at the same time for my own personal benefit from my own ego basically i suppose it's not about me. It's, i just want to be in the right position i want to be in the right place for longevity for me that's it Sim selfish reasons really isn't it yeah very selfish but you know if you've got opinions on this um god i can go off on tangents from rentally if you've got an opinion on it please share it i'm interested i'm intrigued and you know i do get the point it's not but i i haven't got the i haven't got the brain power to think about something that's got the texture in the lab it doesn't i'm sure it can happen and at the end of the day test you babies i you know not i understand the science is so good but could you i don't one of the things i will talk about at some stage is you know all the nuts i have concerns when it comes to um i had concerns even when i was a butcher to be honest I ever think that we're talking about this <sighs> tangent while falling it's probably gonna I was in the I was in the pub sounds like an arc. I was in out with my friends a few there was only four of us there on first year night and it can be up to 14, 15, 16, 17 people at times. It's crazy, but there were four of us there this and three of us regular and one who's quite regular but not all the time. And something came about what came about. The guy was talking about protein and um I stopped and I said, um, he's doing a PT course as well. Fair play to it. He's doing a PT course. He's going on about protein. I said, um, and he's on over double what I'm at. I said, why are you on to me? I want to get big and wonderful, you know. Okay, I'm talking. And I just said to him, I said, Sam, you're doing your course. I said, what happens if the body has not no place to, sorry, this is going to, there is a method in my madness, I promise you. He was going about, he'd eaten 6,000 calories that day. But that was because he had three pints of this stuff is when that was basically 750 calories. It was crazy. 775 calories to be precise, if it was spot on, which we all know when you get these calorie things, they can be 10% either way legally and they're fine. So, you know, another tangent. So he's going on about his 6,000 calories for the day, he decimated, and he's going on about his protein, which was astronomically high. I mean, it was really, really, I was close. I need to have 300 grams of protein a day. I'm like, what? And I got my my fitness pal out, and I go, well, my goal is this. I'm not going to talk to you about it unless it's something you're interested in. And I said, um, what happens? Your body hasn't got the pro, hasn't got the ability to store protein. It's the fact it hasn't. Use it or lose it. But what happens when you lose it? You don't lose it. It turns into 
carbohydrates. Sorry, you're going to get less than that. I said it turns into carbohydrates, which you're already getting enough of, so you don't need it. You're over toxifying your body, you know, it's got to go. And that protein, then it's got to go for your kidneys. And I was trying to give him, so, so we're talking. And I said, So, where are you getting your protein? He said, Chicken. And I said, Oh, and he had had a chicken cats. I think he had a cat soup, ch chicken cat soup curry. And I said, You do realize this is what concerns me and scares me as as a human race. We're, um, he said, um, Sorry, another message coming. It's Sunday night time. Sorry, let's get back to it. I said to him, Sorry, you do realize that that chicken is, is that an awful life and an awful experience. It's dirt. If you're paying, if they're paying, one pound fifty for a chicken. It's not had a good experience. It's been in a barn with ten five stars. I said, and then it's had a miserable life. It's awful. They don't give it the life. A chicken of fifty years ago had a far different ex life, and it wasn't a fraction of the weight. It's not breaking. It's we can talk about this in episode. But what I was trying to get at was then I said, and on top of that, they give they feed they in their water system. They're all on antibiotics. For disease control, I said, and I was trying to explain it to him, and I was uh, telling him about as a butcher used to see when they, um, if a bullock had come through, a piece of beef had come through, I uh, there's one spot. I'd, there's something we can talk about in another day if you're interested, genuinely interested. Or not. I said you can tell when a animal has been injected, how I mean, it, it, that area. Is an is an edible basically like this. And I said, so so that animal's been and they're all getting antibiotics and we have an antibiotics in our and they say you your body can get immune to antibiotics and even when I was a butcher and I was still concerned then because I'm thinking, oh this is wrong morally wrong and it's something we can talk about if it's something that genuinely interests you but I don't want to upset anyone and go through the process. It's just there's a number of reasons why it's just it's not for me anymore and I was trying to explain to him. And I'm just listening to his process and I'm thinking, that's crazy. Sam, you're going to be a PT. I hope you're a great PT when you finish. I said his name then. I hope you turn out to be a great PT. But, you know, think about what you're saying because you, you it's... I hope that made some kind of sense because I did waffle a bit then and I'm sorry about that. But, hey, that's it's Sunday night and it's now 9.28. So in two minutes, lesson two, so I'm going to switch off because I need to get... I've got to put them... Maple. Oh, I think this is expensive away and um it's lush, it's lovely. Oh yeah, I've got on my yeah. Apologize. Yeah, so please if you've got any opinions on anything, whether it's um lab grown meat, interested to you if it, one thing I will say if it's lab grown, then there's no need to put antibiotics or anything in it, is it? and I d I don't know. We can talk about that. Um should I cook some live video cooking demo? I don't know. Um question for you guys if you've got this far you're on a desert island you're allowed a breakfast a lunch a free course dinner breakfast a lunch I'm gonna write this down because I'm gonna do this too I've never thought about it until I talk to you breakfast lunch free course dinner this is your like your last day on Dinner and two snacks and two drinks, one throughout the day and one for your dinner. You know, two drinks that's a lot, isn't it? So, breakfast, lunch, three course dinner, two snacks, and two drinks. What would they be if you've got this far? Please answer that because that would be absolutely amazing. And I will for the next time. And I'll tell you what, if you want me to do a live, we'll do a live, we'll talk about that. That put that in your comments. Give me your breakfast, your lunch, your free course, and your two snacks and your two drinks, and we'll compare. Let's see. And if you've got also, if you've got any any recipes you think I should try, please check them out. You know, homemade ones, and because um, Leslie and um, the vegan vlogger both talked about homemade suits. I do like making homemade suits. When I went to Caden College decades ago, I made um, a courgette courgette soup, and it was a then it ended up being for like five, ten years. It, my mother and I had the recipe of me, you know. It, she, it's so fantastic. I stopped making it, but, you know, I could make it. It's vegan, you know. It got soups. Give me your recipes. Just say, don't have to write them all. 
let's start off. Just give me your ideas and inspiration, and then I'll steal them off you later. And maybe if you know, like those vegan guys with their vegan Baileys. If I'm drinking again, but yeah, it's a great recipe. Paul and Jason know that I did it because I mentioned it in there, so I'm not like waffle on, waffle getting. Let's send it here. Please, if you've got this far, give it a thumbs up. If you've gone 45 minutes of listening to me waffle on about anything and everything, I really do appreciate it. Your thumbs up helps the algorithm and it lets them know. Um, if you haven't already and you've got to 45 minutes, subscribe would be absolutely amazing because it's really gone slow, but that's fine. Appreciate it though if you did. It, you've got this far, you've really helped me get that much closer to getting monetized, which then means I can do something good for six months before we talk about the rest. That's my only goal at the moment, is to just do some, do some good. And um, just, just, I am seriously thinking, and I was going to get one earlier, of getting a um, tattoo that, and I've got something in mind, but if it was, it'd be done vegan. So if you've got an opinion on that, just give them me. Really interested. Genuinely am. Anything else you want to say, just write it down, you know. And if you've got this far and you want to be negative, go for it. That's absolutely fine. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for listening to my waffle. Happy Sunday. I hope you have a great week ahead. And um, until the next one, thanks again for watching. Please take care, stay safe and bye.